Mesdames et messieurs. She is the heart and soul behind the Montreal International Black Film Festival, an event that has brought huge movie stars to this city, from Danny Glover back in 2013 to Spike Lee twice. Can you believe Spike Lee is going to be there here in Montreal? Fabienne Collat loves to showcase her city to the world. I believe Montreal is the best kept secret. Montreal has this zest. This is something that you don't find anywhere else in the world. Twelve years after the festival debuted, Collat has grown it into six festivals in four cities. But it all started from humble beginnings. Um, when I came here um, from Haiti um, some few years ago, it was more than 10 years ago, I discovered there was no platform for an artist like me because I was an actress and model at the time. And uh, so we decided to recreate the Fabian Colas Foundation here that existed in Haiti already. Um, with the mission of giving a voice and a platform to artists. What started as the Haitian Film Festival quickly became a showcase for black filmmakers and actors from all backgrounds. Now, Fabienne's festival goes beyond black culture to black struggles and success stories. She presented the Humanitarian Award to Harry Belafonte in 2012 and Martin Luther King III in 2015. 50 years after uh, Dr. King um, led the march from Selma to Montgomery, having um, Martin Luther King III, his eldest son, to come here to receive the 2015 Humanitarian Award, I mean, it is very meaningful for us all. She's also using her platform to give back. We decided to launch a, a program called Youth and Diversity Program, where we help um, emerging filmmakers to create their first film. In 2015, the province of Quebec awarded Cola a medal to recognize her efforts in fighting discrimination in Quebec society, a moment that helped keep her focused on her goal of showcasing diversity on screen. It's not always easy. I mean, there were times I was in doubt. There were time, um, times um, I was wondering if I had to stop. But each time I get back to that vision, to the why did you start that? What were you trying to do? Besides running her six festivals, Cola currently sits on the board of directors for Montreal's 375th celebration, her way of giving back to the city that has given her so much. So, um, I believe my story wouldn't have been possible elsewhere um, because Montreal has this way of welcoming people, this open-mindedness, this um, warmth. It's like a mixture of the best from Paris, the best from New York, the best from Toronto, and the best from the Caribbean, and then you shuffle it up, you mix it up together, and it is Montreal.